Good morning everybody, how are you doing? I am Tiasha, this is Hirayat and today I am here at Leh in Ladakh. In this video I am going to tell you all about things you need to know if you want to work from Leh. Um, I'm going to cover hotel expenses, everything that's included in it, daily expenses of hotels, monthly expenses if you want to stay for a month and work from here, um, all the places you can visit nearby even while you're working and also all the eateries and cafes where you can work from that have Wi-Fi and also great food. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Hirayat. Over here you're going to be working with a view that is both magnificent and unbelievable. I'm going to show you the view in a minute and uh, you know stick till the end of the video if you want all the details. So this is where I usually work from, uh, from Marigold Hotel in Leh and you know this is what my room looks like. Uh, as you can see you have the warm sunlight coming in from here even when it's like really chilly and you have like a proper table and chairs and everything. Um, also the most important thing when you're working from the mountains, internet. So these people do have Wi-Fi, which is awesome. And I mean, you won't have to worry about your internet connection, at least when you're working. And um, you know, it's a super comfortable room and the people over here are extremely helpful and very friendly. So it's just going to be one hell of a place if, you're, if you want to work from late. So this is my first stop for the day. I have come to Gizmo's German Bakery um, for breakfast and as you can see I've carried my laptop here because I'll be working and attending a few calls from here. Uh, if I have to come to the price range it is somewhere around 800 for two people and you get a variety of food over here starting from English breakfast to Israeli food uh, to German bakery items and uh, the coffee and tea is also really really um, this uh, German bakery is situated in the Leh main market, so uh, you know it's pretty accessible, especially from where I am staying, the Marigold Hotel. Gesmo's German bakery also has Wi Fi that you can use if you are planning to work from here, and as you know, it's a huge, huge plus. And also, since I've had food here before, I know and I can vouch for it, their food is actually really nice. So some of the things that you can try is uh, the Israeli items they have, their coffee and also uh, if you're here don't forget to try their Seabuck thorn juice because you know it's a specialty in Ladakh. So this is what most of the rooms at Marigold Hotel in Lane looks like. Uh, you have a very comfortable double bed. You have a table and a set of wooden chairs. You also have a wardrobe with a mirror, a TV, and uh, let me show you the washroom. This is what the washroom looks like. Uh, Pretty spacious and 
you know you have a sink and everything complete and uh, since you also have a solar panel you're going to get hot water all day long um, another USP of any room here is that you have glass windows you know anytime you want some warm sunlight you can get it and complete with a balcony Also, this is not a part of the room, but I should mention this because it's so beautiful. Like every room and every balcony has this beautiful wooden structure and very reminiscent of what the local architecture looks like. So if you are planning to get a room like this at this hotel, it is going to cost you somewhere around 2,000 to 4,000 per night. Once again, it'll depend on when you visit uh, so you know you can find the details down below talk to the owner directly and figure out when you want to come and you know how much the charge is going to be So this is the balcony of the room I am staying in and working from at uh, Marigold Hotel. And uh, as you can see, it's also a great place to work from. Not only because on a chilly day at Lay, you have the warm sunlight, but also a terrific view of the garden downstairs and the mountains all around. In fact, you can also see the Lay Palace from here. So, you know, I mean, if you're going to be working from the mountains, make sure you are working from a place that has a great view. Otherwise, I mean, you might as well be working from home. Uh, coming to monthly charges, because a lot of you want to know, you know, what the charges are if you're going to be working from a place for over a month. So, if you're going to take this room in this property uh, for a month, uh, you can expect the charges to be somewhere between 15,000 to 20,000. And uh, you know, if you want to just split it with somebody, stay with the person, and there's nothing better. It's going to be what 7.5k to 10k a month for you. So, this is Marigold Hotel where I am working from in Leh. If you see, that building is the hotel and this one right here is the homestay. So the best part about this property is that, you know, if you want to stay at a hotel and pay somewhere charges around what a hotel charges, then you can just stay there. But if you want to stay at a more reasonable price and if you're okay with the homestay, you can stay in this building right here. And as you can see, like both the buildings share a beautiful uh, garden. And uh, you know, let's go check out the homestay. Hello! So, this is Dolma Manti, which is the Marigold Hotel and Homestay. So, this is the homestay. And if you are here, then you will be to do it. And you will be to do it. मतलब खाना तो मतलब लाजवाब है और आप फ्री टाइम में उनके साथ बैठ के गप्पे भी मार सकते हो <laughs> आपको कुछ कहना है डोलवा नहीं नहीं मैं कुछ नहीं कर <laughs> चलो ठीक है ऊपर चलते हैं यहां से ना So this is what the rooms inside the homestay look like. So you have a double bed over here and a single bed over there, a washroom. And windows with a view, an entire closet with a mirror. Huh. So from here, you also have a very beautiful balcony. 
So you know, it doesn't matter whether you're working from the homestay or the hotel right there. You have a beautiful view either way. You have awesome balconies where you can work from. It's a win-win situation, honestly. And it's just beautiful all around. <laughs> so this is a double occupancy room. You have a double bed and you know, all the amenities, the washroom, uh, closet, mirror, view from the windows. So this is also something you can opt for if you want to stay in the homestay. So this is the washroom. This is a very cozy room that you have in the homestay where you know you can just eat and chill. You can also work from here. And sometimes if you want, food can be served here as well. It's just a very beautiful carpeted room. Uh, so this is the way towards the kitchen over here. Uh, where Dolma auntie makes her delicious food. And as I already mentioned, you know, even you can help her out if you want to. You can cook here sometimes if you want to. And outside is a place where you can just sit and eat or chill. The corners of this homestay are super cozy. So, you know, nothing not to like. So this is another area downstairs in the homestay where you can also sit and work. A very cozy place, you also have a view of the garden from here. You can also sit with Dolma and dear times and you know, just chill over here. Just another very, very cozy place. Another very cool thing about uh, this property is that uh, I'm sure you've already seen the garden. So apart from various kinds of flowers, uh, Dolma auntie also grows her own vegetables. And uh, you know, she also has chamomile flowers. And if you want, you can have chamomile tea. These tomatoes right here, these are from the garden. So you have homegrown stuff. It is awesome. And also, you know, since things are not super formal over here and Dolma auntie and her family is just super, if you want to like help them cook or just like, you know, cook sometimes, you can do that at the kitchen. It's just a very homely thing going on around here. I just took some time off from work and uh, decided to come to this museum over here and also visit the lay market because I'm staying really really close to the market area. Uh, let's just go inside and see how the museum here in Leh looks like. I'm at the Central Asian Museum in Leh and uh, so if you want to come to this museum they're going to charge you around 50 bucks per head. But believe me when I tell you this, unfortunately I cannot show you what is inside because photography and videography is prohibited. But uh, it's going to be more than worth it. Because inside you have like precious relics and uh, scripts from the 18th century. Uh, you have things like uh, a handwritten Quran, you have a 400 year old staff that was gifted to the Imam of the Masjid over here by the first, um, what is that called, head monk, by the first head monk of the Hemis monastery. Uh, you have like 18th century pots that were used to make chang, uh, 18th century teapots and uh, even uh, you know, pictures from the old silk route where the double hand Bactrian camels were used, how the lay market used to look in the 18th and the 19th century. It's just like a three story building that has captured history and has stored it here. So, if you are in Leh, this is a must visit place. And also a place that you can visit in between your work if you are here, uh, you know, for your workation. Hi 
Hi, I am at the Zomsa shop right now in the Lee Market area and uh, this is an environment conscious shop. So uh, not only can you uh, put empty or uh, used plastic and glass bottles over here, you also can refill your bottles from here. And uh, this is where they serve you fresh apricot and sea buckthorn juice that they serve you in uh, glass like in glasses and not like disposable ones uh, you also have cloth bags and uh, different kinds of homemade jams and uh, butters and lip balms and everything for example you have a lip balm that's made of apricot oil and also butter made of apricot kernel so it's a pretty cool place and also an environment conscious one we just had a glass of apricot juice from here and it was really really good. So we can just you know refill it from the jug over here and one glass comes for 35 rupees only. The search for good momo and great evening snacks led us to this really small store known as Zal's Tea Stall in the Leh market and we just had a plate of veg momos uh, so they're charging 120 bucks for 10 veg momos and believe me it was like better than any momo we have had in any cafe in the Leh market area it was that good I mean the most unexpected thing was that we took one bite of the momo and there was like cheese and corn and different spinach and different kinds of vegetables and it was just so good. Definitely coming back here tomorrow again for another plate of veg momo. Very Gold Hotel Lay also has the best food ever. It's just comfort, home-cooked meal. Uh, in fact, Dolma Auntie made this special Ladakhi dish. If you want to see what it is, what it looks like and how it was or how it's made, you can find the link of that video in the description box down below. If you have been looking for an awesome place to work from, look no further because Lee is one of the best places to have a workation. Now, uh, some of the most important things uh, to consider when looking for a place to work from is number one, of course, internet. Uh, number two is, uh, you know, what are the kind of places that you work for, that you can work from? Do you have a good view from there? Because otherwise you might as well be working from the four walls of your room. And uh, number three is, uh, what are the places that you can visit on your work days and on the weekends? And uh, Lay covers all three because if you're staying at the Marigold Hotel, they have their own Wi-Fi that you can use. And uh, they have a good internet speed, I know, because I work from there and I've used the internet. So that is um, set. Uh, coming to the second part, like, if you're staying in the hotel, where are you going to work from? You can work from their beautiful garden. You can work from your room. Uh, you can work from the balconies. It doesn't matter where you're working from if you're in Marigold Lay. Um, you have awesome views from everywhere because not only is the hotel very beautiful but also uh, since they have like huge glass windows and beautiful balconies with awesome views it's just like awesome altogether coming to the third point uh, can you actually enjoy yourself uh, if you're working from lay absolutely because uh, marigold hotel lay where i stayed uh, is actually at a very advantageous position uh, the lay market is uh, somewhat like a five to ten minutes walk downhill from there 
so you know like in between work you can just visit the market or if you want you can also work from the various cafes that you can find in the market and the cafes have wi-fi as well so you can just ask for the password and you're set uh they also have great coffee by the way uh you can also like indulge in a little bit of shopping uh you can you know before your work starts you can get out in the morning visit uh the lay palace the lay monastery uh um, maybe in the evening you can visit the Shanti Stupa, all the other monasteries like the Diskit Monastery, uh, the Hemis Monastery that are somewhat around. And uh, on the weekends what you can do is you can go to Somoriri or Pangong or Nubra because that's also something I did like uh, you know we stayed one night each at all these places. So that is completely doable uh, but of course you're going to decide how how you're going to shape your vocation around the kind of work that you do but yeah Lay is just one of those absolute awesome places that you can work from and you should uh, if you have been looking for a location let me know if um, you found this video helpful and if you have stayed in Mergo Lay before or if you're planning a trip to Lay don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Hiraid. I am Tiyashan. I'll see you in the next video.